right here is uh, this is Tommy and and myself were out doing predator control at this farm uh, foxes are sneaking in and killing uh, their poultry and livestock uh, Tommy is using the Pulsar Digex C50 which is a day uh, daytime nighttime scope and now it's in day mode where you see <laughs> these peacocks coming in now you'll note that this is a digital um, scope with brilliant colors and I just wanted you to see uh, how brilliant these colors are on this peacock uh, this is daytime you see the green leaves um, and the good thing about this scope here which you'll see in just a little bit is that it has the ability to use the daytime mode way up in when you can't see anymore with your naked eye um, well there you see is a another critter coming in the scene there checking out the call um, he goes over and then I have to mute the call so he doesn't uh, attack it uh, I think he's a guard pig <laughs> but anyway we'll show you some more footage um, of the Digex C50 here in nighttime and as I was saying the daytime mode collects the light so well uh, that even when you're not able to see with the naked eye you can still see uh, through the scope uh, real well to um, take a shot if it's legal. Okay here you see Tommy still has it in day mode but you see the lightning bugs and now he just switched it to night mode. Uh, it's well beyond being able to see out through there with uh, your, your naked eye. Uh, here is a, a, a doe responding to the fawn bleed that we're using to try to call in some coyotes. And this is, uh, he does have his infrared light on now which uh, is war there there you go you see when he lifts it up you can see way out there well into uh, the hundreds of yards um, as it goes on out through up to the wood line that's it's a good 400 yards out through there now I just switched it over to um, the coyote pup in distress And you, you can see the distance that you can see uh, it is the foreground is washing it out just a hair uh, but when you adjust it correctly you can see really well now here's a skunk that Tommy sees through the scope and he's using the um, onboard rangefinder he's using the rabbit image to show you that the skunk is about 285 yards away um, and then the wood line is a, a good 150 200 yards more um, which you'll see in just a minute a coyote come out and now the coyote is coming into the call um, and he's about 300 yards now just a little further than that skunk was and he stops and pauses and he, Tommy is leaving the scope on three and a half power but he has the picture and a picture up top uh, that he can actually zoom in it's on seven power uh, the, the clarity of this you know is just outstanding for uh, an infrared scope. Here we go. Time for the shot. The rest is history. That's about 250 yards right there from his position. Now here's another coyote way up in the woods, probably 350 yards away from us. 
and he's moving up through the timber. If you look close, you can see him. Uh, this is with the night vision scope busting uh, through the woods up through there to see this coyote. Moving through the timber and up to the top. Couldn't get a shot because of all the limbs and stuff hanging down. Okay, here's another um, time that we were out predator hunting and as usual, uh, we get out, when we get out of the truck and we scan to see if there's anything in the field or anything close by. And Tommy looked up and spotted uh, this black bear uh, about 350 or 400 yards away uh, with the Pulsar Digex C50. And uh, he's got his uh, infrared light zoomed in as far as he could but he really wouldn't have needed to do that, as you'll see in just a little bit here. Tommy says there's two of them, and uh, that spot on the left uh, might be a cub bedded down, but I think it was um, something else that was uh, shining out there because it never moved the whole time. We were watching it for five minutes. Now, if you're interested in one of these scopes, um, you can get a hold of Travis at foxoptic.com and uh, mention the promo code SFO for Stevens Family Outdoors, and uh, he'll take care of you and give you a percentage off on that. Uh, did you just see those deer out there in the field with the um, with the bear? <laughs> I think this bear had just come out of hibernation because this is back in March uh, of this year, 22. So he must have just come out of hibernation because he's munching on the grass pretty good.